What's up guys, just got stream side. I uh, noticing a few bug hatches and things going on, looks good. Um, it's really overcast, it's a normal Monday right after school. Going right out and fish maybe an hour and a half, two hours and see what happens. Stay tuned, I'll fish down the creek, fish back up the creek, and uh, we'll see uh, what fish lie in our destiny here in a few minutes. There's a slight midge hatch going on, so I tied on a rainbow warrior and a black zebra midge. Uh, this happens to be a flashback, kind of like a sparkle tail zebra midge, and uh, we'll see what we can do. on those two patterns for, for reason now I'm the water's fairly murky uh, we just had some rain yesterday and the water's a little high so I know there's a there's a midge hatch and so I'm gonna go with midges uh, these guys usually like stoneflies as well but I'll try that in a little bit while it's hot I'm gonna try some midges I used rainbow warrior with a little bit of sparkle same thing with the zebra midge to what, like a searching pattern almost small waters I can kind of pinpoint and go through each little seam and that allows me to try and find hookups as best as I can as well as gets me uh, able to fine-tune what it is they're looking for now I came here and I forgot my nine-foot rod which for this creek is perfect so <laughs> I have to, sh to fish a, uh, a 763 weight and I think some of the fish on this creek are a little big for this rod um, doesn't have much backbone, so we'll see if we can't land a couple without them taking me out and on a little bit of a run. They weren't feeling the, just the midges, so we're gonna throw on 
a nice uh, like a stone fly imitation and I'm going to just tie on a little small dropper of it off of the last fly uh, no more than six inches or so Small Creek pig. Look at this small creek pig. This is a nice small creek trout. That right there is the fish I've been searching after in this creek. And that fish has bested me two, three times and apparently all it took was the soft touch of this 763 weight this is a cabela's three forks it's a nice small creek rod that i just kind of keep in the car just took a nice little afternoon trip some midges and man i think the key was i switched to that stone as an attractor and when i did that uh, that fish actually took the stone however I had two or three small takes as well, and uh, usually if they're small takes and they spit quickly, I assume it to be the midge. But that's the fish I've been looking at, looking to catch for a long time. Let's keep working this spot and see if we can't catch a few more big fish. The midges are really going off like crazy right now, but uh, I don't see any rising fish. So I'm going to continue and fish some uh, coronamid patterns and I'm thinking that stonefly is going to pick up a couple more fish for me today, we'll see. So I fished my way down the creek, now I'm fishing my way back up the creek. I know it's kind of a little different, but being a small water body of water like this, I'm not in the water the whole time. I can kind of get away with it, and the way I parked, it's much more convenient to do so. So, hitting a few more holes, I'm way back to the car, and I'm uh, going to call it a night.
This mangled, beaten down fly is the quintessential perfect fly for today. It is just getting hammered. It is a trashed up stone fly that they just love. It's super buggy. That last hole, I missed so many fish that I kind of got frustrated. It just goes to show how on the ball you have to be and how mentally focused you have to be for the slightest takes. Now, I usually drink a lot of caffeine, and so I hadn't had caffeine. It's now 6 o'clock. Just got back to my place and hadn't had caffeine since around 11.30. A little bit of caffeine even. So that was proof in the pudding that if you need a little performance enhancing before you go out, drink a cup of coffee or something. Caffeine or stimulants actually improve focus, mental focus in, in tunnel fishing. Now I'm not saying you should go out and drink a bunch of caffeine all the time, but fishing is not a hobby or sport in which you can kind of just go out and do it if you're serious about it. If you really want to perform to your highest level, take it seriously. Now, it's not a big deal. I already went through that pool once, so the fish that are in there aren't going to surprise me. However, I did get hit more in that last pool than the rest of the trip. I spent about an hour and a half fishing, caught a bunch of great fish, including what I believe to be the biggest fish in this small creek. So, I'm very happy. Would have been fun to catch a few more fish, though. That's my cue. Hopefully you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out other fishing videos and other product videos in this playlist. Until next time guys, catch you guys on the flip side, tight lines, and we're out.